Everything in life, all the pain that you have in life, it just makes you, if you survive it, it yeah. makes you tougher. If you don't give into it, you know, that's the thing that you learn on the way is like, you can make the choice. You never run to people, you know, everything was going great. Then this happened. It's yeah. just like, well, that happens to everybody. Yeah. You should just, you got, you got to use that as a, as, as part of your story to get in there. But if you make, you, you have the power to be, to let that thing take you out. Like I saw, I, I, you know, new comedians that, you know, came to New York or came to LA, you know, and they got their talking to by Jamie or fucking Lucian back in the day. Those guys ripped everyone a new asshole. Yeah. But some people just took it to heart and couldn't get over it. And it's just like, yeah, I used to talk to me like, fuck those guys. Yeah. Fuck those guys. Well, that's what I was going to say is that thing Especially where you- Especially you, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I love Jamie. I like yeah, teasing him. The, the, uh, you had a lot of that. It's like there's a thing, the post-traumatic stress, and there's also a thing that no one ever talks about, which is post-traumatic growth, which is like, yeah, you can grow from this shit. I feel like part of the thing where you you'd said- rather you, not. <laughs> yeah, you'd rather feel bad for yourself. No, you know, you'd rather have not have that shit happen. Of, of course, but so. what I'm saying is it's gonna happen. And the thing that I feel like you maybe didn't have the right balance of was like, how much of this shit is just making me tougher? And how much of this is making me tougher in a way that's not helpful? I mean, I would say like 85% of it was not helpful. It wasn't. I mean, to this day, my, my energy sucks. Like when I go to a party, like I am that fucking traumatized person that is, feels comfortable being over in the corner. Yeah. And like not talking to anyone. And then what I fucking hate about that is, is everything all right? Is everything all right? It's like, you ever think I had a different childhood? <laughs> this is me partying. Can you yeah. just fuck off? Oh my God, dude. I went to a fucking, when I went to Madonna, this fucking guy kept turning around going like, hey man, you know, make sure you have a good time now. You know, cause I have resting like fucking Dick drama face. face. Yeah, me, I didn't yeah. have it too. And it's just like, dude, I, I am on fucking, I ate 10 milligrams of weed right now. Fucking enjoying this shit. I'm thinking about where I was when these songs came out and he kept fucking doing it. And he kept touching me. I don't like fucking being touched. And it was just like these fucking people the happy kids, you know what I mean? And just, yeah. just trying to be like, I don't know. He wasn't trying to be an asshole, but like, it was just like, can you just fucking leave me alone? Can you, I'm, I'm trying to be at the concert with my wife. Can you just fucking leave me alone? He wouldn't. Couldn't do it. Yeah. Hey, hey, huh? You just, just kept doing that. And then if you say you have to stop, you're an asshole. No, I mean, I was saying that. I was like, buddy, I get it. I go, you're going to keep making the same fucking oh, he joke. Oh, and he kept doing it? Yeah. Yeah, it's no good. No, he was like, just ha, 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 ha. Like he just, one of those people like shit doesn't land. It's like, he was like a dad. I have a dad joke, like like Colin Quinn. I complain, but who listened? Remember that chunk he yeah. used to do? I used to love that. Those stupid fucking office jokes that I heard a million times. And that's why I loved Colin's joke because I never questioned them. It's just like, this is part of the office experience. And he was the first guy to be like, how many fucking times can somebody say that? And, you know, and then you just don't, you just be like, it's an old joke already. And then I, you see it on like Instagram. Instagram, like there's, there's like hacky, there's yeah. all hack. There's like hacky formulaic jokes that people like. Remember YouTube? For like ten years, somehow people kept. Fun Was this film with the potato? How many times could somebody write that? Yeah. It's like no, it's old technology. Mm -hmm. You know what it is. The first time somebody wrote it, it was funny, and then everybody just like, I want to be the potato guy on this fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that comment. Yeah, it was literally like the pie in the face. Just still funny to me. I feel like you uh, stink. No, I feel like you did pretty great. <laughs> On what? Uh, just in life. No, I did. Yeah, no, yeah. I did. You I fucking did. did great. You're an unbelievably great comedian. Like unbelievably great. I, I know that you don't. It doesn't really help you. You know, day to day. I, I, I didn't ask for your help, Neil. No. <laughs> I just did that because I know you I, want me to do that. No, I, I do you don't. Know I thought of a funny I line. I don't want you to do You know, I thought of, I was out to breakfast with my wife the other day, and this guy comes into the restaurant, and this person behind the counter said, uh, Hey, how are you? Having a nice day so far? I immediately thought I wanted the person to be like, And if I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What do you want? You just want to fucking, you want I would have said that and just let it sit there. 
But then I would have been like, I'm just fucking with you. I'm yeah. having a great day. But it was just such a, are you having a nice day so far? It's just such a, it was a weird way. Feels like, like pressure. Well, what are you fucking, like you're, you, you're checking in on me, you're doing a study, you have like a clip, am I having a nice day so far? Yeah. How are you coming along in life? Like what, it was just an <laughs> well, annoying question. Is there question. such a thing as being friendly to you? Or is it no, all there kind is. of aggravating? There is, but there's this, hey, how are you? Yeah. There was just something about the detail of that. Are you having a nice day so far? Yeah, yeah and if I'm category. not, what are you going to help me out with it? <laughs> you got some avocado. This is what I. You got some avocado toast. That's just gonna, <laughs> whenever I'm arguing, whenever I erase my childhood interactions with you, I'd get upset, and then I'd be like, "But he's going to use this for a premise, and this energy, this icebreaker, and this fucking." What do you mean? You, I'll tell why you would what I? I mean. You're already filming, and it. it's it's right. done. It's gone. No, no, no. I'm not saying you're going to use it for a premise. I'm saying if we had an interaction, the ener you have energy that. I sometimes it's hurt my feelings, but I know that you're going to take the spirit of it and you're going to aim it at something that I want you to aim it at. And I'm thankful for it. All right. That's all. Well, you have the aloofness of a North Korean dictator. I totally agree. <laughs> I don't want to have it. I don't want to have yeah, it. I don't know that I'm doing that either, but I just know enough about your family. Uh huh. You let it go. <laughs> You just saw you went, your voice went up an octave. I go, enough about your family. You go, uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I know. know. I know. This is another thing that I know without even knowing is whatever you went through was worse <laughs> than what you went through. Yes. Based on the look on my face. No. Based on my, go on. It was the supersized version because it was, a, you had a bigger family than me. Yeah. So, which just, all it does is it just, the pressure gets greater. And yeah, and, and whatever nourishment, little nourishment that is in there gets ringed out. Uh, no, it, it's a, uh, yeah. You know when you see it. Yeah, and that's why I don't walk around saying to people, like if I see somebody off in the corner, I'm like, all right, they had a rough one and I leave them alone. I go, oh, just smile. Yeah. Like that was a big fucking thing when I was in New York. Guys and beautiful women come down the street and they'd be like, smile. Sweetie, it's like, yeah. And it's like, for what? Like, no, I'm not smiling. Maybe I'm in a bad mood. Or if I walk around smiling, ugly fucking morons like you think I want to fuck them now. And then I got to deal with you asking for my number. Yeah, they can't even it's make It's like, this contact. is the look I have to have on my face because there's assholes like you out on the street. Yeah, the shitty part for me is like, I don't even feel that way anymore. Do you know what I mean? About like, what? About whatever I went through. I Now I'm like past it, but the face hasn't caught up. The face doesn't catch up. I know. Yeah, that's one of the things that haunts me is who was I supposed to be before all this shit happened to mm -hmm. me? Because people are like, well, this is who you are. All your experiences, blah, blah. It's like, no. This is a reaction. No, this is, yeah, this is a reaction to shit. Who you're supposed to be is growing up in an environment where you're allowed to figure out who you are. I never was a kid person before. Yep. I never knew or liked a kid. My sister uh, had a son. Of, of course, I had a good relationship with him, but I wasn't, you know, it's just another thing of life. It's another thing you think you can't do. Mm -hmm. Like directing this movie. Yeah. Another thing you think you can't do. And maybe you can, maybe you can't. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. You can or you can't. What's relevant is you dive in that's relevant yeah you yes because whatever however it comes out is worth it failure is just as worth it as success because of the experience or because of the effort or the because of the initial guts to do it because everything contains a reward of some kind it's your job to find it okay so you start to so you do b movie you do comedians cars the thing that that i loved about comedians cars is the that people will once you say it they'll of course that how did you edit comedians of cards so you go you film for four to six hours with people and not then, that long but or three hours yeah, four hours three hours and then what's the what's the editing process like it's rough how come why is it rough yeah well first of all you got to live the same the same day again yeah you got to do that three hours again mm-hmm and that's uh, my point, weird. what I'm trying to get to is because you sit in the edit and watch every frame of yes, it. Yes, because I know it's funny when the guy doesn't say anything. Right. 
when I asked him that and he just kept chewing, that's funny. <laughs> yes. And you can't ask you. I had a great editor. Yeah. I had roomfuls of editors. Yeah. But you got to find those little, it's the, it's the little comedian yeah. things. Yes. That's what I want to show people. Look at how weird we are. Yeah. And, and yes. And what I'm saying is like, you got to do it yourself. Yeah. It can't, there's no sub, there's no substitute for whatever's in here. You can't, you can't be taught, can't be sold, can't master. You only, you know how it should be. Right. And what I'm saying is like anything good is a pain. Uh, I think a pain is simplistic and unfair. Yes. Okay. It's unfair. Uh, arduous, effortful, f- requires full effort. The, the more you struggle, the, the, the better you get. Yeah. Struggle is, let's, let's say a struggle is, is, is its own reward. This is a, uh, I don't know, maybe a Zen concept. Or, yes. You know, the struggle's the point. That's where you're becoming different. In that struggle, you're becoming different. So you're, you've got a girlfriend who has a kid now. Mm-hmm. This is a new thing. Yeah. Bit of a struggle. But you can feel yourself changing, adding, adjusting parts of yourself to do this. Yes. That's it's, that has tremendous value, just that. Even if the whole thing explodes in uh, three weeks from now, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Was that a waste? No. No. There is no waste. No. Did you hear Giannis Antetokounmpo, the basketball player, talk about losing? Oh, the greatest. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful. Some days you're not. Some days it's your turn. Some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports is about. You don't always win. Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championships. The other nine years was a failure. That's a, that's an all-time moment. Incredible. Like a, really incredible. Yeah. And he got a, a lot of des- well-deserved credit for it. Yeah. That's who he is, by the way. He's right. like, a, that's right. really who he, I've Do you dealt consider with. the season a failure? Was that the question? Yes. Yeah. And it was like, failure? What the, What do you talk? It's, yeah. he's, he's great. It did get a little dicey, though, at a certain point. Your mother, uh, beyond the government <laughs> looking out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, trying to pick you up off the street. Your mother remarried, we'll say, poorly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was violent. It was indeed. That's probably the reason we're friends. That's probably the reason we get along. Oh, if it if it wasn't for that decision, I may have just had like a. Like you'd be a, with Dave a, and Chris, right? Yeah, now. I'd just be like a, <laughs> a super rosy outlook, and yep, I'd just be like, you know, I don't, I don't have get you that. Seen that Neil Neil it's a little, it's a little, it's I don't a little get much. it. There's something, there's something about somebody it I don't get. heard uh, someone walking out of blocks, and he goes, uh, "Yo, my man got a little too introspective." <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but so, but we have talked about the role that violence has played. Yeah. In, uh, there's no uh, comedian. Uh, uh, there's no comedian. I believe there is no comedian who is very good at what they do and did not become very good at what they do because they were avoiding or, you know what I mean? There's, there's either, there's a neurodivergence involved mm-hmm. or a neurodivergence multiplied by some sort of trauma. Yeah. You know, so you were bullied, you were abandoned, you were beaten, you were shamed, you were whatever it is. It's like those are the two ingredients to make like really, really good comedy, yeah. which I don't know. I'd love your thought on this. I, I've been thinking recently, I go, what is the value of an individual being tortured if they're going to bring joy to many people? Oh, you mean it didn't work? We jammed the system? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like, what is like, is there a value or... So, for instance, we live in a world where we go, we don't want anyone to be hurt and we don't want anyone to live a tough life and we don't want anyone to. But I sometimes think to myself, if one child growing up in a horrible world becomes Mozart and that music then goes on to like make the world a better place, is it is it worth it? Was it worth beating little Mozart? Yeah. Of course, you know, I've thought about this. Yeah. (laughs) Of course, you, you had to have thought about this. Uh, it's a collateral damage thing. It's, it's similarly like bombing the area for, to fight terrorism and you take out some civilians. No, 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 no. no. but it's the same logic of that. The greater good 
is served. Yeah, by... but that one doesn't have a greater good. Choose no, no, no. another one. Choose uh, a, you're the right. best at analogies. Okay. Choose another one. I don't like that one. It's like if you beat baby Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it and and then he. Uh, what I would say, I would say it's kind of worth it if Mozart can give us the compositions yeah. we need. Yeah, and then he gets better and doesn't, because that's the situation I think I'm in. In that, like, I took my beating, <laughs> I wrote my jokes, yeah. I did a bunch of stuff to feel better, and now I feel better. And I wrote the jokes, and I can still write them. Yes. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab-assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.